What? Oh, sorry. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to Lee Reacts. Oh, everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Sorry, didn't see you there. You didn't knock, um, but that's okay. You can come in. And uh, we are back to finally finish off an album we started a long time ago. Pawn Hearts. Um, I think, oh, it wasn't that long ago. Maybe it was like half a year. <laughs> uh, we did a plague, of like, uh, a plague of Lighthouse Keepers not too long ago. Maybe like six months ago. <laughs> then we did Man Erg about a month ago, I guess. And now we are doing Lemmings. Um, this is a request from our patron, Jason S. Thank you so much for your support, Jason. I really appreciate you, brother. I'm listening to Lemmings off of uh, Pawn Hearts, as I said. Mr. Robert Fripp is going to make a, a guest appearance once again, apparently. And we love our Mr. Robert Fripp around here, don't we? Rest in peace, King Crimson Reactions. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, so this is Lemmings, including Cog. Off of Pawn Hearts by Vandegraaff Generator. Three, two, one. Ending with the first track. Upon the highest cliff top, look down around and all that I could see. But those that I would dearly love to share with, crashing on quite blindly to the sea. I tried to ask what came this was, but knew I would not play it. The voice as one as no one came to me. I've missed you, Vandegraaff. Oh, how I've missed you. Is that for a plain acoustic? 
No, that's Peter. Never mind. The man, the myth, the legend. God, that sax is so good, man. And then Peter does the same thing once. That's wild. Oh, those dynamics, dude. Holy shit. Dude, guy is so talented. They sold this whole band is so talented. Underrated. It's a low, it's out of control. Out of control. Greasy machinery slides on the rails. Young minds and bodies on steel spots in oh. Those transitions are seamless. Fucking seamless, bro. Constaring bones, constaring bones. Unfroated monsters are forcing the screams. Mind and machinery box press our dreams. That is dark, bro. I fucking love it. Oh my god. Nineteen seventy one. Everybody. The death, this is just literal insanity. It's chaos. I love it. Guy is fucking killing me. Changes like what? Shit is pure evil. I love it. I don't want this song to end. I hope it goes on for another 20 minutes. I really do. I don't even have the screen up. I don't know when it's gonna end. I just hope it doesn't. Little lemmings running around. 
Guys, fills are so good. Oh, I needed this. Thank you, Jason. You have no idea. Like they take you away to some far off world, man. Fucking demented world. Oh, that is fucking sick. I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> Come on, guy. Diddle ding 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 ding. He is so good, dude. I might have got a little too excited in this one, I apologize. How could I not? Like, who thinks this shit up, dude? This is the intro track. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Jason. I needed that. Uh, I needed some dark, evil carnival prog in my life. And since I uh, can't do ELP anymore, really. Unless it's like their old, old stuff. Um, wow. What a fucking rock roller coaster of emotions that song is. Like, th there's, there's points in that where it is absolute pure chaos. Like, in music form. Uh, it just... Like I said, a demented carnival ride. That's what it felt like at points. And I feel like that about a lot of their music. Um, but especially in this album, now that I've heard it all, um, they definitely had... I don't know if he was going through some shit. <laughs> no, man. I, I, I always say that he's been through like some trauma in his life, and then everyone always says that you know he was he had a normal life and stuff. But nobody writes from such a place, like such a dark place, and like the music that they create like without experiencing some form of the void we shall say i don't know um because he he's got it down man like some of the sounds that they create like all of them together you know uh, it's stuff that it's almost like it's foreign music not even like to this world like it's from somewhere else uh or some other dimension or some shit like seriously that's what it feels like uh it's just it's pure demented musical just goodness and that's what I come for for Vanagraph Generator um, I come for my mind to be blown and to have I don't know something to talk about afterwards to be honest I don't really I wasn't focusing on the lyrics I kind of couldn't hear him at points but that's just them you know that's just how Peter is uh, he's either shrieking or singing um, 
with the most beautiful voice known to man, or he's just fucking demented screaming, which I love, you know. Uh, what was it? Uh, disengaged with the Ro with Robert Fripp's Disengaged. Oh my God! You know what I'm saying? Like he's one of the most talented vocalists. This band is so fucking underrated. They're one of my favorites that I found on the channel, and one of my like my most listened to of like of the tracks of I've listened to. Um, for replayability, for just I don't know, man. They just put you in another world. Like I said, they just take you on a ride and uh whether you like it or not you're gonna have your mind and brain picked and i definitely had it there man like it just it brought it hearkened a lot of memories from like my bad days we shall say and um some of just the chaos that ensued on some of those days um while i was at my worst you know what i mean uh, it was just pure unadulterated um debauchery there you go that would fit that pretty well too uh that too but it's just just i don't know man i wasn't in a good spot and i just you know when you're not in a good spot you do not good things and uh there's a dark side to all of us a very very dark side and it's very um it's very easy for it to come out it's easier than most people think a lot of people have trained themselves uh because they know that they have that side and that's the first you know step in is acceptance that you have a you know very evil part of you inside of you um but you have to work every day to like be against it. I mean, I guess some people are just good natured at heart, but I feel like we are just animals at the core sometimes. We're just like, as we say, this is just the flesh we inhabit. <laughs> uh, but it, it definitely is just, uh, you know, the flesh is weak, uh, the spirit is strong. You know, I was talking about that the other day on one of the videos, I can't remember exactly why, but that's what I feel like with this, you know, song. It just kind of takes your mind and your spirit on a, you know, a dark night of the soul, we shall say, you know, and it just kind of shows you your darkest parts and just exposes them, you know, it's just like, hey, look, look what's there, you know, you've known your whole life, you just either uh, try to hide it or, you know, lie about it. And I think uh, our shadow self, as they say, or whatever the Freudian term is for it, um, it's, uh, it's very real and it's very apparent that it's easy for it to slip out for other easier than others, you know, it's, um, for me, it's it's my impa like I'm very I'm a very patient person but like once the f switch is flipped, it's very hard to unflip it if you get what I mean. Um, I don't know, but I'm not like that you know not like that but just you know just my evil dark shadow self as we shall say. Uh, but music like this is good though because you should be exposed to it you should be shown that and you should be aware that you are you're half good and you're half evil basically you know it's just what it boils down to. I hate to be the cliche wolf guy, but, you know, it is literally the wolf that you feed every day. It's the one that becomes stronger. And uh, we do that by our actions, uh, by our choices, and situations we inhabit, and the things that we do, you know. And you just got to put yourself in a good spot, you know. And I was in a very bad spot for a very long time. And I'm very glad to be, be able to sit here and listen to this fucking nutty music with you guys and just enjoy it and love it and be able to talk and tell you what I feel about it. It's a... Uh, it's kind of a dream opportunity for me, honestly, because uh, playing and listening to music has been my thing my entire life. That's all. It's been me. That's my character flaw. I mean, flaw. That's like my, my main character trait is my, uh, my music, you know? And it's always been there for me. It's the one thing that was always there no matter what, you know? Not my mother, unfortunately, because we're all human beings. Um, not my friends. They died. Uh, or they're just not friends anymore. And uh, even in my relationship today, it's, no, it's not perfect, you know? But music has always been there for me and it continue hopefully it will continue to do so but yeah let's get into that i'm uh, sorry for the fucking uh pawn hearts fucking <laughs> psychosocial session um so yeah fripp did his thing on this obviously um david jackson on the, the saxophones and the flute uh hugh banton on the the hammond the far feast fa <laughs> uh the mellotron bass pedals and then guy on the timpani that's it. No, it's kidding. He's a drums, percussion, piano. Um, I think the acoustic guitar was done by um, Peter in this. Like I said, his lyrics are unintelligible for me, and for me honestly, in this first listen. Uh, but except for the slower parts, it kind of—I don't know what it was. Like I couldn't get a feel or a grasp of it. It's kind of cryptic, and I don't know what's the word. Uh, shit. Not. It's not cryptic. It's. Um, Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. It's <laughs> what's the fucking word? Oh, this is gonna make me mad. 
it's not literal, you know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. It's, um, I don't know. It's kind of like a analogy kind of based thing. I don't know what the word I'm searching for. I'm like saying every word but it. <laughs> but I don't know, man. Like I, His lyrics are definitely not to be, I don't know. They're definitely meant to be analyzed, but I think they kind of more, sometimes they're more of like a sound to add to the overall soundscape. You know, like some vocalists just sing unintelligible words just to fit in with the music to make it sound better, you know? And I don't think that because I think he's like a poet and the words that he sing obviously have meaning, but I think he uses his voice as another instrument, which obviously does is, but a lot of vocalists tend not to try to blend that with the rest of the music and use the their pipes to, I don't know, enhance and move the story or whatever around. And and I feel like with this song, it's um, it moved very quickly at points and then it slowed down like immensely, kept moving, then went down. You know, it was just like an up and down kind of thing. Um, but once it got to the end, like what's like a, such a slow, um, introspective kind of ending? You know, like I said, it's kind of felt like a, a dark night of the soul basically with this song. It was, this whole album is a dark night of the soul. But and it's funny that we um, started with the last song and then well the middle track we did second, so we would have done that either way. But we're ending with the first track, so we went backwards with this album, which you know, hey, that's just me, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, but with this new laptop, it's making things a little easier. Thank you guys. Um, but yeah, man, that was fucking fantastic. Guy was just a force of nature on this dude. Like, his symbols, his hi-hat, everything just sounded so good. Uh, and when he used this snare, it sounded amazing, obviously, too. His whole addition with the percussion to the sound is very, very important, as is uh, Hughes, I believe. That's his name, right? Yeah, Hugh Banton. Uh, the, the organ and Mellotron, whatever stuff he used in this, just created such a chaotic and primal-sounding world at points uh, in my head. Uh, his... I, I always feel like the keyboard players and stuff always get so overlooked, but they're so important to the band. I think they make up almost, you know, 30, 40% of the sound sometimes when they're doing uh, tracks like this. Fuck, I'm still trying to think of that word. What is the word? It starts with an A. I don't know. Um, but just, you know, tracks like this that are so uh, ambiguous and dark and chaotic, you know, you kind of have to put yourself in a weird spot to make stuff like this, I feel like. But. These guys are just absolutely fantastic musicians that write fantastic songs, and it felt really good to get some prog on the channel again. You know, it's been, uh, I don't know, kind of, uh, since I hit 2024, we've kind of, you know, gotten inhabited by the 60s and stuff like that. Totally fine, because I've gotten my crash course on the 60s and stuff now, but... I, the stuff that I really, really enjoy is stuff like this, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that Jason set this in. So sorry for talking so much, but uh, it kind of inspired a lot of talking in me. So thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate that. I'd say, obviously, Peter's screeching, frips, rips, uh, fr frips, rips, good godly, uh, frips, riffs in the beginning were fantastic as well. Uh, but honestly, Guy and Hugh, uh, as usual, actually, other than Peter, like the standouts for me, and then David on the saxophone, just fantastic, man. All of them together, it sucks that they're not more widely known, you know. I, they are so talented, and it's so overlooked, I swear to God, you know. And um, I think we're going to go uh, to God Bluff again after this, because we started with God Bluff. We did Arrow. That's like the first track I ever did by them. Um, so we're going to go to that album next, and hopefully it won't take a month this time to get there. But you never know. That is it. Thank you for watching, guys. If you all did not know, we have a Patreon right there. Uh, if you go click the link in the description, you can join any of the tiers and get access to all of our block videos and Patreon exclusives. we got hours and hours of bonus content on there. Tons and tons of King Crimson, uh, courtesy of Mr. Robert Fripp, because he does not like it on YouTube. He really doesn't. Um, but I got a couple by, so, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm just kidding. It's all a joke. Um, if you wanted to get one free request a month, uh, you can join the $15 tier or up, which is the exclusive member tier. Uh, there's also other tiers with other requests, you know, amounts and stuff like that and albums and everything. Just go check it out. There is a rules and guidelines sort of post uh, pinned at the top of Patreon. That's for all PayPal requests at Patreon, all that stuff. Go ahead and give that a read just so you know, you know. What we're doing around here, try to make it a little easier on me and uh, give you guys a better viewing experience. And um, yeah, if you want to send a request in, like Mr. Jason did for this, there's a PayPal link in the description. That's the best way to support the channel, other than Patreon. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was fucking amazing. <laughs> it really was. I needed that. Thank you.